wanted to ignore those, unfortunately. Oh yeah, of course. It's fun to <laughs> listen to to see what they want to do and everything. That's that's the whole great part about it. They came into this uh I'm back this and I have last week. And they've actually Mine's only got better. this is only their they're going into mm. their What's third plan? room. So I'll I'll show you the size of the of the map. This is right, the back. size of the in, the entire labyrinth. It's actually pretty big and they have a What's the plans, eh? They have a long way to go. Wait till everyone's a long back. Way to, long uh, I way bet to your go. plan's the same as mine. <laughs> I've got an idea. It's kinda it's probably a stupid idea, but we can think about it. I've got a sneaky suspicion that Vay's plan's the same as mine. Take all their body parts? No. <laughs> <laughs> so is everybody back, or is Chili still AFK? Yeah, Chili's not back yet. You guys will actually like the uh, the med packs and uh, well, not med packs, but the the healing kits and D and D next. You need a uh, wisdom skill check, and it will do a certain amount of healing. Uh, actually, it's it's a we're in the Forgotten Realm setting, so uh, we're not at really any point. In time, it's sort of like a like a laid back game to where uh, we you know we're using a lot of the the early Forgotten Realms lore uh, because actually classic D and D isn't even part of Forgotten Realms. It's more of a you know an advanced second edition or first edition, but we're we're running it in classic, and I've pretty much uh, had to uh, you know dummy down a lot of the the mobs and everything because of the actual way that D&D &D is set up, classic D&D. &D. So, instead of being in the world of Mastara or Gazetteer or Hollow World, we're, you know, decided to go into the Forgotten Realms because there's a lot of lore there, you know, with all the major cities and, and everything. So, whenever we do get to, say, if we get to, uh, you know, get up to Waterdeep and you're a higher level and you decide to get to Undermountain, I'll have it modified to where it'll fit classic D and D rules. Instead of throwing a, you know, a second edition Beholder at them, I'll, I'll throw a basic D and D, a little classic D and D first edition uh, Beholder at them. So there's a little bit of a little bit of work on my end adjusting everything, but it's really it's it's not too bad. But it, within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be converting to the the new. Uh, D and D next playset, so we're going to be using that uh, the playtest packet and using all of the uh, 5.0 rules and stuff. So I'm kind of uh, getting used to a little bit of it tonight. You can tell I'm doing some skill checks and and some other things as well. So I'm trying to wean them onto it slowly because you know there are some new players, so I don't want to overwhelm them with too much all at once. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It, it, it's a, uh, it's fun. This is my first time dungeon mastering, so I've been playing since the late '80s. I'm sorry, late '70s, early '80s, but I never really have have dungeon mastered. But this is my first time, so I'm sure it's not perfect, but I'm having fun with it. Kind of, probably kind of funny to listen to a hillbilly accent. DM. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 all we're trying to do. We're just having fun, letting other people, uh, you know, letting other people watch the game, and hope hopefully they enjoy it as well. And you know, it's nothing. It's not rules heavy. It's not. 
you know we're not using a, a ton of fourth edition rules or you know 3.5 rules or roll master critical charts it's it's just basically you know just just having fun man uh, that's one thing I that's why I've always stayed with classic or first edition is uh, because of the lack of rules I like when the DM has more you know more leeway and and kind of uh, do his own thing instead of relying on playing a game on 100% rules and charts I, I just don't like that How we looking, guys and gal? I'm good. Still waiting on the chili. On the chili dog. Why are you waiting on me? Oh yeah. Alright. Alright. I'm heating up some soup, but yeah, we can go ahead. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what Maybe I've been trying some. to do, man. Oh, yeah, blood sugar. So no, blood my sugar. stomach. Blood sugar. My stomach said, yo, eat some. No oh, blood sugar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since we're all here. Alright. I think we're all back. Gone. We're gonna uh, discuss plans. Um, Faye has a plan. I have a plan. Who has? Who has said they had a plan? Me. Okay. There we go. So let's go, Faye. You and me. Mine's quick. I'll just get it out of the way. We know what these guards sound like. Maybe we hide behind these columns along the sides of the wall. Have chili. Um, Gregos. I'm sorry. Uh, yell out in the voice of the guards for some assistance that and we attack them well, who was who's uh, sorry uh, that's right. did you say you had the same idea yeah okay mine's not the same as yours then Vey. all right what you got mine was we know what these tiles in the back room do why not have everybody stationed in here? <laughs> the guards are going to go. What, someone go what through well. and <laughs> get the guards' attention and have them give chase, lead them into this room, uh, and we um, attack them and push them onto the tiles that we know do damage. Well, they know the room also, and they, if uh, their range, on top that of won't it. work. Vase yeah. on top of it. Damn it. And it's not like you took a ton of damage from that tile. True. Hey, it was a ton of damage to me. <laughs> he also got healed by Nick. There's also a, <laughs> another color tile in there as well that you guys never had explored. No, uh, yeah. That's true. There's a green tile. We assumed it was bad. Hey, how about we, uh, we happen to have an excess of bodies to test stuff out with. Well, that's a good idea. We have bodies Do it. now. I ain't touching the, the dead. Let them rest. Uh, they tried to kill you. Yeah, and fuck them. Throw them on the trap. And they did. <laughs> was an honorable fight, though. Then we can eat them later. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I heard that, uh... <laughs> I've heard that burning is a pretty nice way of, uh, dying. So, <laughs> let's... Let's test out the light green ones just in case. Well, we, we're idea. not going to use we're not going to use that room though, are we? But what if the light green means healing? Well, it depends on what that green tile does. Let's check mm. it out. All right. Well, if they heal someone, well, it's not going to heal the dead. Now they're getting smart. Yeah. Well, good thing we have multiple light greens in case. <sighs> I, I I will step a tile. Because you're, I need healing. If you're you going think, to sacrifice. Why don't you just no, throw a fucking body on there? Because, like you said, if they are healing, it's not going to heal them. Well, it might heal well, them. We don't know. It's not exactly going to beat a heart. 
They could probably heal their There's so a lot of oh, how about tiles. But we know that the tiles just, said it might. just take off the shirts and pants and see if any blood stops coagulating or flowing on them. Why doesn't someone just wear what really? the, the armor they're wearing and go in and pretend to be them? Because if it's lightning, the armor's only going to make it worse. Hey, wake up. No, I mean, somebody put the armor of the the people we've killed, the two armors, say, um, Gregos and, pu uh, like, Purist, Yeah, I'm not jump. taking off my armor for their I'm... flimsy ass armor. I'm not gonna do it, sorry. Well, no, they, they've got, they got a grey cloak on, haven't they? These guys had a grey cloak on, did you say? Grey armor? They have, like, a, a, a purplish type of armor, the same type of, a. uh... uh Regalia that you're used to seeing them in, you know, purple and uh, blue and uh, some purples, blues, and darker colors. Oh, I don't think I that's see what you're talking about because none of us look like a drow. It's too heavy for me to wear. Just... No, it's not up yet. I have to rest before it's up. Oh. I'll, uh,. I'll take off the armor, the top armor, and the cloak of one of the Dark Elves, and, uh, it, it'll fit poorly over me, but, well, I'll just put some bandages to some straps to make it fit better, Wait. and make it look like I'm... This is the halfling? Part. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna fit very the well at all. Gotta love random encounters, guys. Human. Gotta love random encounters. Yeah, we'll so... do that, Jeff. Wow. Well, apparently Chili didn't want to try. It's taking so much time. Can you, can you use no, your I'm Japanese not, I'm not taking off my armor. To you don't do have that. to take it off. Just, like, put it on, put the other well, armor on top and, like, put we'll some... We'll do like they do in the cartoons. It. We can wear a big, like, robe or something. And you can get on one of our shoulders and you can be the head and we'll be the legs. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. It's foolproof. Okay, it's all seriousness, good. though. How do we want to do it? Do we want to go down uh, Vay's route? Um, yeah, How about we take one of these dead bodies and throw it on the green tile? Alright. Can we tell Dragon. Bastion that the light green tiles have some gold under them? Bastion's going to come up here and check it out too. He's just kind of shaking his head going, what the hell are you guys doing? I spent a month doing all this reconnaissance for you guys to throw bodies on tiles. He didn't do much with Constantine <laughs> Bastion. Don't paint yourself yeah. as a hero. Yeah, that's what, what I was hit. Did you do. say? Like you did a whole you hid. lot. <laughs> you hid in a city, in a in a lake, in an empty village, and looked on the outside of the mines. You didn't fucking come here on your own and slay three minotaurs. You're always bragging, Bastion. You're always right? bragging. You hurt my feelings, Samora. <laughs> well, get used to it. Right. Some other ideas. Who, who's got yeah, other ideas? What are we doing? Green. We've been spending way too much time in this hallway talking about shit that's just fucking retarded. What are we doing? I want to test out the light greens, but I'm not willing to go since I only have like 4 HP left. Fine. Right. I will Six. walk into this other room here. I will go and step on this light green right after I answer my telephone. <laughs> I was going to say I'd do it because in case a spell shoots out, I, I have pretty high saving for spells. Spell I'm just kidding. What was that? Oh, I was just joking around. I, I told Gregos to make a you're fucked roll. You're, you're fucked saving throw? No, I'm just kidding. Is that a, a D100 and you have to hit lower than the 1? Yeah. Roll 1D100 <laughs> damage and double it. Alright, so what do I have to do? Roll saving throw? No, you don't. Step hey, on I was going to say. Okay, you, you stepped on that tile. All right. You actually feel a cleansing. You actually uh, oh take yeah two hit points. You actually get back two hit points. That's a shitty roll too. So you okay. actually get back two hit points. All right. So uh, we can actually, if you guys want, we can all just step on all these light green tiles. I I go on the other one. Does the other one have the same effect, David? You feel a resurgence of life in you, and you get back eight hit points. Wow. Lucky bastard. Alright. Oh, oh, I just killed me, baby. Oh, wow, oh. they actually oh, finally go got, this one finally got smart. What happens Don't. if we all jump on one at the same time? We'll, like, split it between Samora, us. Samora, you get back 9 HP. Gregor. Uh, Gregor's, I would like for Bastion to also do it. Wow, nice roll. Yeah, so I was you get say, nine as well. Bastion. 
Bastion's gonna step, step on that one, one as well. So if you can adjust Bastion's hit points. What do you get? Uh, I'm rolling now, hold on. I think I'm maxed out. Four. Uh, can Bastion go on another one? Sure. There yeah. we go. Thank you, Bastion, for complying with the group. Alright. And there you go. He gets back nine more. And as you guys are... You guys are in here stepping on these stalls. And I, and I will tell you that... You also sense that when you step on these these uh, light green healing tiles, all you know, obviously they do heal you. Uh, you can actually tell that, uh, just like the dark green uh, damage tiles, that uh, you sense that these are a one-use type of item. Okay. One-use type of you know, floor. I'm gonna. I'll step on one. We've myself. got. Just there we get. Just top uh, me off. Everybody get yeah. Everybody get topped off, and let's mark the ones that we've stepped on, just in case we can backtrack back here and heal up if we need to. Yeah, I I, I know eight. where you're at. Everything from the uh, you have everything. I'm gonna ping on the map. You have Wait, was from that here one? right on thing down. So, uh, yeah, I'll actually right draw on. a couple. I'll draw a line. You say I get uh, eight hit points. You got back eight, yes, sir. Okay, and I don't. <laughs> I do not think I had twenty three hit points. <laughs> one more. Here we go. Okay. I was wondering if these are steroid pads for a second. All right, as you guys are <laughs> strange group. While you guys are still back into the room, everybody move your miniatures back into the room, please. Step onto the green pad. Quad damage. I feel like I could take on another Minotaur. Uh, Double critical. Whoa, what's the what's the orange? Did I uh glow? You ran so fast back into the room you left a trail of fire behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy. Nice. That's how revitalized That's I feel. That's my boy. That's my boy. Damn it. Aww. Okay, so how would you do this encounter? You say we're all back in the, the tile room? Yeah, yeah, you're still you guys are still back in the tile room and I'm having a having a mechanical problem here with the roll twenty. I'm standing up by the ajar uh, door. Come on. I've gotta reset my application now. Be right back. Right on. Okay. Take another take another break while we discuss our options. Alright. Uh let's march through the door and attack. <laughs> I'm with you. Full health, I can take it. Let's go. I'm I'd with say you. We should try and get the kind of surprise them. We could but do before we do that, I wanna phase idea. I wanna make sure that you get all the aggro, Gregos, beforehand, just in case. Well, I mean if they hate halflings, they hate halflings. There's nothing I can do about that. Also you need to adjust your health a bit. It seems like it's a bit over. That might think uh, something might happen. No, I don't think it is. Because uh you okay. said we're all still in the tile room. We're not in the hallway. Yeah, I'm I'm actually two hit points shy from Max. Yeah, you guys go ahead. Perfect. You guys can get back into the hallway. Okay, uh, can we check for how much strength it would take to open this door, or is it just a relatively uh, easy door? Uh, no, the door is open. It's it, I I said it was ajar a little bit. You can see a little bit into the well, room. Well, I mean, to move it. All right. Sure. All right. Yeah. So okay. So it's not five strength. You could probably can't... move it. Perfect. Can it can it open slowly without making a whole bunch of noise and drawing attention to ourselves? Is the real question. Uh, you can you can push on it if you'd like. I mean, you can. You know, if you want to. Okay. Uh, I, I want to. I want to just barely push on it to try to make no noise whatsoever and push the door open. And it rings out, clang, 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 clang. Like a stab. There's a there's a bucket of there's a bucket of water on top of the door. You notice that? Yeah, you you notice that it it is pretty much stone on stone, so you don't think it's going to be too quiet there, Gregus. Right on. Well, since that's all right, so let's just push it. Do I have a? If we're going to go in here, we have to commit. Could I get a bonus on opening this door on my muscle scale? Well, muscle skills. I know my way around doors. Muscle skills not gonna be uh, 
a quiet thing to do because you're grunting and pretty much. Oh, it says we pretty it much says got all this the character understands the use of simple machinery such as wedges, pulleys, and levers. Maybe I could like figure out a way to move the door without making a noise or making any Do you noise. have a wedge, pulley, or lever? The door's a. Uh, he has a wet G. Does that count? <laughs> Time's ticking here, folks. All right. Yeah. If you guys want All to dash right. the door. I, I, no, I'm not talking time right, right, ticking. Right, I'm just talking time sticking as in like in game time things could happen. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Go, go, go! Scissors. <laughs> you can move 40 feet and around. Right on. So you can, you can move 40 feet. I mean, depends on what you guys want to do. Depends on what you guys want to do. Alright. Let's much everybody got. get up here by the door. Let's all crowd up by the door. Right. That's cool. There's five and five guys in there. So. Just right behind you. Open wide so, yeah. and start. Just just go. go. All right. Let's go. Yeah! Move your 40 feet. Put your 40 <laughs> feet. We have to move 40 feet. What? Up to I don't, 40 I don't really want to know. I don't really want to move 40 feet because I can only see 10, so. Yeah. Uh, can you... Expand it, David, since we now probably... There we go. Daddy's got you. Hold on. Alright. Okay, so I've moved something like... 30. That's where I was. Want to move up more, Gregors? I'll come up with you. Um, Dave, can you yeah, hang on? Hang, yeah. hey, how far can I go? 40 feet. Oh, so there, you're there's... using that. Uh, are you using that? Uh, there's... 20... Where yeah, am I? And there the... Hey, right, I'm I'm now... Is that uh, area to our right that doesn't have anybody near it? Is that also a doorway? Yes, that is definitely. You can definitely you know, any anything that looks like this right here. That is an arch and an. Uh, the is the door on it closed or area. open? No, that is it a closed that is, door. No, that's open. These two are open. Can you then? Can you since we probably have some visibility into it? Can you uh, expose it just a bit? Make sure we're not. Uh, Flanked. Ambushed. Oops. Guess I should probably turn on my reveal areas. User joined your I like how me and Pierce just blindly run into the middle of the room. Yeah! <laughs> you can see a little bit, not much though. Okay, because so in all flanked. honesty, you're not paying attention to what's in the other rooms. You're noticing the the five uh, human type of figures in front of you, but you can see into the hall a little bit. It's sort of like a peripheral vision type of thing. That right. one with the weird helmet. So these pretty guys menacing. are human archers. Uh, yeah, they they all look human to you, and uh, they you weren't expecting. Well, you guys definitely knew that something was there because you heard you heard a mumbling type of commotion going on. I mean, it was just you know normal talk. Uh, these guys uh, sort of heard something but didn't, so we're just going to go ahead and roll an initiative. And I need uh, some more. Did you move? Is he here? Oh, I haven't moved yet. Okay. Do you want me to? Did you move? Yeah, make your movement before we do initiative. And also Ve as well. Ve. I'll roll initiative. I got the command ready. Now I want we're gonna do a uh, 5.0 type of uh, initiative on this, so I want everybody to roll a 1d20 and add in your dex modifier. But Samora, seeing that you're a rogue, you get to add your expertise die into this. Okay, so that's a 14. But expertise has d6, isn't it? So that's a 16. Does that a turn order thing that popped up? I'm doing anything? Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Mm -hmm. Good thing you had that expertise bonus, Samara. Oh wait, you, we roll a one d twenty. That's how initiative works. Yep. One d twenty plus your dex modifier. I don't have a dex modifier, so mine's just twelve. Way to test your flexibility. Mm -hmm. 
I can I can help you test that if you like. All right, give me okay, some. Okay, so uh, I had a sixteen. Give me some numbers and uh, from top to bottom, who had uh, first? Actually, I need to roll some. Gregos. NPCs, real quick. And I think uh, uh, Samora did. Okay. Gregos, Samora, no, they, me. Okay. Pierce. Now, what did what did Gregos have? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Then who was next? Samora and they. They both got sixteen. Okay. Uh, then the NPCs mm -hmm. will go next. Okay. Uh, the NPCs rolled a uh, nine. No, the no, that was for Bastion. The NPCs oh, okay. rolled higher than that. I did a DM roll for that. Now who's okay. who's after a, a fifteen? Lower than a fifteen. I'm fourteen I'm and Purist is twelve. Okay, that is how the turn order works. So Gregos, you will go first, my friend. Um Pretty simple. I'm gonna run up here and I'm gonna smack the shit out of this dude. Alright, <laughs> forty feet. Just that simple. Uh can you guys see their armor class now? No, I'm not. No, I can't. No, I can't. No. Just give me one second, guys. Oh yeah, I'm I can. Sorry about that. I thought I I thought no, I, I can see on this time. archer. No, I can. His armor class is seven. You guys should be able to see now. Yeah, I missed. I run up, missed him. Okay, some more. You're up. Okay, I take it these things are pillars, by the way. They go yes. all the way to the ceiling. Yep, you see more uh, pillars and candelabras. Massive candelabras. Okay, I'm going to move all the way to here. Okay. And that would be my turn. Uh, well, you know, as in classic and 5.0 are basically going to be the same way. You can you can do double your movement, so you can actually move uh, 80 feet, and still, well, actually, you can move up to 120 feet in classic D&D. So, but if you move anything, oh well, yeah, feet, no, I, I do, I do want to move. Turn. I do want to move further then. Okay, then you can move up to 120 feet. You just forfeit your turn. Anything after 40 feet, forfeits. Okay, done. Okay, all right. Now Bastion is going to... Uh, I've got a measure here. Okay, Bastion's going to run all the way up, so... Dude, he's a, he's a crazy dude. Yep, Bastion's going here. He will be able to attack uh, next round. Uh, Samora, you you did your move. Uh, Ve, it is your your attack. We'll step out of the corner here and fire at uh, the archer in front of Gregos. Okay, full damage. Hey, how's it going, Laz? Gregos, Thanks for stopping by the channel tonight. We're just playing some classic D and D. <laughs> He doesn't, uh, he's in well, a, he doesn't have my life bar just first thing of the I scene. have 25 HP. In a labyrinth by the uh, the Grey Wizards. They're called the Grey Wizards. Okay. So it's a, right. it's a user error. How can you have a GM error. an odd amount of uh, hit points at it's, level 2? Special. Bonuses. Um, oh. Don't have to be even. After it looks like the commander guy. Alright. Uh, Ve, you've moved. It is now the uh, good guy's turn. I mean the bad guy's turn. Uh, so, this first guy here in front of Gregos, he's going to actually try to shoot you, Gregos, at point blank range. Silly, silly man. Pulling a Legolas. What is your AC? Negative one. What? 
That's right. Yeah, he, he basically uh, misses. All right, the the second guy here. He is going to turn and also.